Apologize, it's a little windy out here today. Uh, for you, those of you that have been following along, this is my personal 7310. Uh, it's gone through three recipes now of port work, trying to figure out where maximum work saw um, modifications are. Basically, you just keep going and going and going, tear down, rebuild, um, alter one thing, change another, see what works, and then once you start to go backwards, then um, go back to my notes and see where the kind of the peak of performance is. I did reach that in what you would call a woods port, um, and that is uh, what I'm shipping out right now, which is about 30 to 35% faster than stock. Uh, this is now just a test bed saw. Um, I went back in on this one, tore it down, checked for wear. It's got 84, 85 tanks through it now. I just put another tank through it. Um, reshaped the combustion chamber, did a little bit more welding. Um, went for more of a hemi, hemispherical design on this one. Uh, it does not have a decom, uh, and it cannot have a decom anymore as that whole port is welded over. Um, I also changed my transfers just a little bit. Um, I, I integrated a little bit of a divider to try to clean the flow out uh, just a hair. Um, but other than that, it's just the same as it was in recipe three with a modified carburetor, uh, about two degrees advance on the ignition. Like I've said in the past, you can't do much with these because it's very aggressive from the factory, but uh, just thought this would be a fun video. This is Rock Hard Ash, uh, 28. It does have an eight pin. I'm not a fan of eight pins. Yeah, you can show torque with them, but if you're actually working with them, it's especially with a 28, it's just too finicky. I don't know, but for fun today, we'll run a 50 thousandths, full chisel, eight pin, um, and I forgot my tack, so I'll stop this and uh, pick it back up when I'm ready to cut. And tack installed. See what she holds for RPMs and hard ash shape pin 28. curious so this is going to turn into a battle of a seven pin against eight pin hopefully this wood holds together
watching again.